So uh, in, in some cases, um, if you're looking for laser tech to put the, uh, the finished core back into the frame, uh, we certainly have the ability to do that uh, on a stator core. Um, if, it's a, if, it's a, if it's not a welded core, a lot of times they, they'll be press fit in. Um, so the next step uh, coming out of welding, a lot of, we'll, we'll try to weld the core ahead of time if possible so that all the laminations are perfectly aligned. The next step would then be taking the frame itself and uh, heating it up in the oven to get some expansion uh, of the frame. So uh, because this is press fit, uh, we, we need to get you know, that expansion opened up, that, that, that ID core of the frame opened up so that we can then insert uh, the, uh, the finished welded core into the frame and uh, get it to compress back in once the, once the frame cools. Uh, so um, there's a little bit of um, calculations that our engineering needs to do on, as far as heating up the uh, frame and how long they need to heat it for in order to get the press uh, fit clearance that we're looking for. But that's essentially um, what a, a you know, press fit uh, stator core would, would it entail as far as getting it back into the frame. So um, once once the core is reassembled in the frame, um, depending on the size of the motor and the requirement, um, we, we have the ability to uh, prime, prime the frame and uh, repaint the core. So this is essentially a, a core that we just completed and it's getting prepared for shipping. Um, but uh, before it gets into our shipping department, it goes through a, a final inspection. So again, all the key dimensions are uh, checked again by an inspector um, you know the heights of the core are checked relative to the frame uh, and then um, the slot alignment is looked at visually all throughout the core to make sure uh, nothing is shifted or nothing is, is out of alignment um, <clears throat> they also look for if we are painting the core any kind of overspray that may be occurred um, to make sure there's nothing that's uh, you know getting into the lamination area itself um, for any kind of, of uh, contamination. Um, also, um, everything that ships will be uh, fully certified. It comes with the COC. Uh, our inspectors are verifying uh, all the uh, components um, meet the quality requirements. Um, that were specified in, on the drawing and in the specifications for the job. Um, and that all the certifications are, are going, going uh, with the job as well. So uh, there's full traceability on what we used.